Hi, I'm Carly Betancourt, and I'm here with Butler Women's Head Coach Mike Helmer. Um, coach, I know we came off a really strong season of 26 and 7, and we also made it to the Region 6 semifinals and actually lost to Hutch by one. Tough game. Um, can you just give me a quick recap of the season, you know, what you enjoyed, what you wish could have gone better? Well, you started with the Hutch game, so I, yeah. Yeah, I wish that could have gone better. We, I wish we could have made one more basket there, but uh, it was a great season. Um, one of the teams I truly enjoyed, all the girls were fun to be around for the most part. Um, they practiced hard. And we were hit by the injury bug a little bit early, which made it kind of tough. Uh, but, uh, you know, 26 wins and finishing third in the conference. And, you know, we're basically about uh, two games out of first place and we're about a half game out of second. Um, we had some up and downs, you know, but uh, all of our losses were tough, painful losses, as you would know. Yeah. Um, Garden City and three overtimes uh, to lose by one there. Um, but, you know, we had some good wins, and, and it was a team that was just a lot of fun. It was an athletic team that got up and down the floor. Um, you know, I, would, I wish we could – this is the one time of year where I wish we didn't have kids for two years, or in your case, one year. I wish we could have them for three or four because I think this team could be scary down the stretch. Right. Um, and also, talk about, you know, the four sophomores that are leaving you. Um, can you replace them? Have you found replacements? Um, well, I guess I'll start with you. Um, Carly Bencourt, of course, here is, uh, she's going to um, Quincy. Quincy. Thank you. I went brain dead. Sorry. Yes, Quincy in Illinois. Um, I'm very excited for her. She, uh, you know, Carly, I would do anything to have Carly for another year. Um, you know, she transferred in, for those of you that don't know, um, had a great year for us, was unbelievable down the stretch in the last 10 games. Um, I think it took her a little while to get adjusted, and therefore, uh, you know, it, the sky's the limits for her at the next level. Um, you know, going for two years, if she can adjust quickly, um, that will be the biggest thing. You know, she's already played Division Two once, so I think the adjustment will be smaller than what it was even going to junior college. Um, but very excited for her. Um, Sam is going to Lincoln Memorial um, in Tennessee. Uh, should be a, a you know an interesting transition for Sam because they're going to play her in the post defensively, and I think play her more on the wing offensively, where we played her a little bit. A little bit of both, um, so I think that'll be an adjustment period for Sam too, and I'm excited for that. Um, Jamila Bonner is going to Wichita State. Um, that'll be a big jump for her. Um, she's going to have to, you know, Coach Adams is, is, uh, you know, she's on it. She's, you know, Jamila's going to have to be ready to go, and you know, the athletic abilities of, of that conference, I think she'll fit in, and you know, it's close to here, so we'll get to see her play a little bit more than we will you or Sam. Um, and we're excited for, you know, to be able to see her uh, tie. She's going to Oral Roberts. Um, I'm extremely excited for Ty to get a chance to go there. Um, you know, she, she's an example of, just to be real blunt in her situation, she had zero offers after her freshman year and then hard work going into her sophomore year and the way she played as a sophomore uh, led her to a Division One scholarship at Oral Roberts. So um, great coaching staff there. Um, she'll be, you know, she'll be a, uh, an added bonus to that program from the standpoint they've got great shooters and they need a big time defender. And, we know Ty is a big time defender. Yes, yes. So. Um, okay, and then can you go over, you know, the returning players? I know Tanner, Peyton, Katie, Kennedy with her injury, if she's going to make it back. You know, tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, we've got a bunch of them. We're going to, you know, be first time players for us. Kennedy, uh, um, she had a, a shoulder injury and rehab's going well for that. We're expecting big things from her uh, as she redshirted this year, as did Tanner and Peyton. Um, you know, Tanner's a, uh, you know, a big-time shooter. When she gets going, she can knock it down. She really plays physical. And Peyton, you know, is, is really scrappy defensively, and she's going to have to get stronger uh, to, you know, combat the injury. I think the injury is still causing her some problems. Um, but hopefully, you know, over the summer um, she'll get stronger. I think Tanner's ready to go. She just got to get back in basketball shape. Right. Um, as far as the other girls, you know, Katie, we're expecting big things from Katie and Ashley. Um, you know, those two have got to – really, really carry the load for us next year. Um, you know, Ashley's, she's got about 15 Division One offers at this point, so if she plays well her sophomore year, I think the sky's the limit as far as how, how many offers she'll get at the end. Um, Katie's got to bounce back from, you know, she was up and down a little bit with the injury thing as well. Now, played through the injuries, but she can't, uh, she's got to figure out a way to fight through those things and get a little stronger. Um, and Chelsea and Bet and Lala, um, you know, those are the other three coming back uh, with game experience. You know, Lala, we're expecting some big things from her. Um, she's got to be able to be a little more consistent about being tough, but, you know, continue to knock down shots. And, and Chelsea and Bet, 
both are very good players. They've really got to learn how to be tough. Right. Um, and, you know, so that the contact and the pounding, as you know, that you take every day at this yeah. level doesn't affect them. Right. Um, also, I know you have a big recruiting class coming in. Uh, give me a little detail on, you know, the girls coming in for next year. Uh, we're pretty excited about this class. Uh, with what we got coming back and the foundation that you sophomores built, the expectations are high. Uh, we got three Kansas kids, uh, Shelby, Allie, and Elena. Um, you know, good mixture between them, very strong players. Shelby's a power lifter, uh, strong. Uh, Allie's a big time shooter. Uh, she was one of the top three scorers in the state of Kansas this year. And Elena had an up and down year because of an injury. She hurt an ankle at Manhattan High and um, struggled a little bit to fight through that and miss some games. But, you know, uh, very, she's a very aggressive player, um, tough minded kid, which you know I like. Um, so I'm excited for her. Uh, the three out-of-staters, um, you know, Tierra Williams is a Division One transfer from Texas Sum Southern, excuse me, and was the freshman player of the year in that conference. So we're expecting major things from her. She needs to come in right off the bat. And, you know, she already has D1 experience, so she needs to be a leader and show the kids, the younger kids, how to play and what ex what's expected at the next level. Um, Ashley Gibson is a 5A, um, she's a 5A MVP in the state of Oklahoma. She can go inside out. I'm expecting her to uh, be a tough kid to guard uh, because if you put a big on her, she'll shoot the three, go outside. If you put a small on her, she'll post you up. Um, she's strong. She takes charges. She's a little bit like Ty. Um, scores maybe a little better than what Ty did for us. Um, we're excited. And, um, and then Tiara, um, excuse me, Tiana, um, she's a point guard that had a number of Division One offers out of high school but didn't get the one that she was interested in. Um, so very quick athletic guard had a number of games where she scored in the 40s and 50s this wow. year she can score uh, very quick very athletic she was just the state champion in the 100 and 200 in Oklahoma mm -hmm. in the smaller classes so um, you know we're excited about this class we think the foundation that you four sophomores left for us and what's coming in we're, and with what's returning we're very right. excited and then for next year, uh, based on the people that are coming in and all that, do you think it's going to be a different look for the Grizzlies, or you know, are you building on what you had, or you know, what's we're going to we're going to continue to build on what we did last year and what you guys did. I guess if we changed anything, we'd like for it to be a little more up tempo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're you know losing Sam. You know, she didn't she wasn't you know the fastest person in the world, but her her strength helped us. We probably will be a little more athletic in some positions. You know, mm -hmm. losing Jamila and Ty athletically. Uh, using you and Sam were a lot more, you know, for your positions were very physical. The the players we have coming in that would replace you aren't going to be as physical as what you two were, but probably a little quicker and a little faster. So we're going to try to get a little more up tempo. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, and that wraps up our interview. Thank you.